Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit that notification bell in order to get our videos before anyone else. Hello folks, this is Ayatan Ajha from InspireToRise.com and this is the newly launched InFocus Turbo 5 smartphone. It has a metal body, has the fingerprint sensor on the back, the camera and the flash module along with the speaker grill and it is a dual SIM phone with a hybrid SIM tray slot. On the top we have the 3.5mm jack, on the left hand side we have the SIM tray slot and it has a very nice curved design. The screen is a 2.5D curved glass display, on the right hand side we have the power button and the volume rocker. Overall, I like the design of this phone, it has quite a solid feel to it. The screen is a 720p HD IPS display and is acceptable for the price range. It seems like a bezel-less design but if you look closely, there are black bars on both the sides. Inside the hood, the smartphone comes with a MediaTek MT6737 chipset, not the one shown here, quad-core chipset, 2GB or 3GB of RAM. 32 GB of internal storage or 16 GB of internal storage. It also comes with Android Nuga 7.0 and has a massive 5000 mAh battery which lasted me easily around 2 days and even on really heavy usage it can last you throughout the day. And if I talk about the sensors then it does have all of the sensors that you need for a good experience. The benchmark scores are all average and they point towards the fact that this smartphone is a budget smartphone does not have really a high end chipset in this price range but it does have sufficient performance in order to go easily through your normal day to day tasks. And when I tried to push this smartphone to its limits by playing Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on maximum possible settings on this phone, then the game was playable, there were few signs of lag here and there but still the game was playable and if you push down the settings by just a little bit, you would be able to play the game very easily. The 3GB RAM variant is definitely better performing and if I talk about the user interface and experience for this smartphone, it is good but I felt that at some points the user interface lagged and there were few unnecessary pre-installed apps which I obviously disabled and you can also do so, that's very easy. Overall, it's a good value for money smartphone in this range but still the OS and the implementation could have been towards a more stock Android approach. Now let's talk about the camera for this device. It comes with a 13 megapixel primary and a 5 megapixel secondary camera. The 13 megapixel camera comes with LED flash f2.2 aperture and the front camera also comes with a f2.2 aperture. Overall, I felt that the camera was just average but considering the price range, it has to be accepted. It's not that great in terms of image quality but the image quality with HDR turned on during daylight conditions was quite good. Selfies also were acceptable but seriously not that great. The back camera is capable of shooting maximum up to 720p HD videos and these were in the 3GP containers so the bitrate was limited to around 12 to 13 Mbps. The front camera is limited to only 480p videos and that's also a shortcoming for this phone. And now let's test the audio playback for this smartphone. The audio is not that loud and you might have trouble hearing the phone ring in a crowded and noisy place. The fingerprint sensor on this phone is quite fast in its price range and the phone opens swiftly every time I used it. The InFocus Turbo 5 would retail exclusively on Amazon.in from 4 July 2017. The 3GB RAM variant would be available for a price of around 8000 rupees and it would be available in pure gold and mocha gold colors. I tested the mocha gold one. And personally I feel that the battery on this device is quite great. It lasted me quite long, 5000mAh in this price range is unheard of by many smartphone makers and overall also the performance is good. The MT6737 chipset is an updated version of the MT6735 that also adds to the overall performance. I wish they had added stock Android feel to it and that would have made the smartphone even better. But still at this price range it is a good one now. The camera could definitely have been a little bit better. But considering the fact that this is a budget device makes it an easy choice and if you are somebody who is looking for a phone with a great battery life, good fingerprint sensor, a nicely built design, Volte support, 
4G dual SIM, then this is the smartphone for you. So guys, this was it for this video. In case you like this one, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to go crazy on that subscribe button. This is Ayatana Jha from InspireToRise.com. Signing off folks, stay inspired to rise.